I would like to thank all the retailers for their commitment to Garden City and look forward to continue working together to make Garden City a destination where a community of customers can shop and enjoy all the facilities that Garden City has to offer. I would also like to thank uh, Knight Frank for all the hard work, and particularly Ashby and Rose, who I'm sure most of you know very well. I would also like to thank Webb, a sustainability consultant, who have worked diligently with our team to deliver LEED US Green Building Council pre-certified gold standard in what will be the first LEED certified building in Kenya, in fact, sub-Saharan Africa. I'd like to call our second speaker of the evening, Anthony Havelock from Night Frank. You know Night Frank, we're responsible for leasing the beautiful spaces here at Garden City. On behalf of the um, Night Frank leasing team, uh, a number of uh, thank yous uh, to start with as well, if I may. Um, first and foremost, Actis, uh, our clients here at uh, Garden City, uh, for giving us the opportunity to be involved in this uh, unbelievable project um, of you know, significant magnitude, which is um, you know, land-breaking in Kenya here at the moment. Uh, to Mike and the development management team at Aspire, some very early mornings, uh, carrot cake and a few cappuccinos. It's been, uh, it's been quite a journey. Um, so far and uh, the end is very much in sight uh, which is uh, very exciting. Um, the last thank you is to, is to you, the retailers. Um, without you guys there would be no one in this building. Um, you guys have shown a huge commitment to it. Uh, this evening is all about thanking you. Uh, it's two or three months away until we're going to open. Um, now, of course, you know, there's 50,000 square meters here of retail space. That is a lot of space to manage and to take care of. When we talk about energy and environment, we have a gentleman here who will take us through that. That is John Mulatia from Web Limited. Just to take us through what it means to make sure everything works the way it's supposed to. The various things that we're looking at, we have sustainable sites, which involves looking at how this site is actually procured. So you can be sure we've had a lot of instances of land that has been grabbed from playgrounds of students. We've had a lot of that. But I can assure you the process that Actis and mental management went through to secure this piece of land was actually a process that to any office you go to, the land was procured through the right method. And other than that, an environmental impact assessment was undertaken and to the highest standards. So they look at any hazard that we on the site. So looking at the location of the site. So all of this has been considered and a lot that comes under selection, site system, When you come to water efficiency, we're looking at 
We have many tasks to deal in our homes, but we never look at the efficiency of this heating and dirty protein. With this development, a lot has been taken into consideration when it comes to sanitary fittings that have been put in. When you go to the washrooms, the tasks that have been put in place actually water efficient fittings. So we, there's no wastage of water. So it's first and foremost, we have a problem within the area of water. So how do we use the living water that we actually have? So a lot of water that will be coming into the building from rainwater harvesting, this will be used for things such as uh, the flushing of toilets and the irrigation. Of, so there's no use of portable water for the landscape irrigation that is on the environment. So you find portable water only being used where it is necessary. We have energy and atmosphere where we look at. And the rooftop, I think with time we'll be able to see that there's a solar plant that has been put there. And what we think is that this solar plant actually contributes to 20% the of the building. So what I've, what I've discovered is that in actual fact, retail tenants will constantly adjust to the retail environment in which they find themselves. That's your job as retailers. And you're very good at it. When you drive around the malls of Nairobi, I reckon that the tenants of Kenya are brilliant. They're a credit to their craft. That's your job. Your job is to bring forth the best of your merchandise and your service, to present it, to open your stores, to open your lives to customers, and most importantly, to do those wonderful transactions and make money. So what's our job? Somebody want to ask? All right, I'll answer, I'll answer. Our job as centre managers is to ensure that we create the conditions that all of you can perform optimally. Security will come up, of course, and you know it's a very important component when it comes to you tenants and the customers who will be coming here, but the Brawl team has assured that they do have international standards, safety systems and features to ensure that you have no worries. You open up shop and you'll sell and make lots of money, hopefully at the end of all this. About tenant combination, it's purely a process where we take you through uh, what we expect from you as tenants, what you should expect from the landlord, and how we come in to make sure that we achieve uh, the overall objective of, uh, you know, handing over or uh, opening a mall that is attractive to our customers. I believe that is basically it uh, to anyone who doesn't know what uh, tenant coordination is. I'm here in this perfect environment Okay, there is a little bit of construction still going on, but yeah, the final is the final tuning, so I don't think that anybody really matter, you know, minds that. And with this perfect mix of people. Marty Way has been appointed to do uh, positionings, uh, marketing strategies, uh, promotions, advertising, launches for many malls around the world. On behalf of my team and myself, I'd like to tell you in all honesty, that uh, the combination of the shops and the brands that will be represented in Garden City Mall, the dedication and the passion of the groups and the teams that work to make this mall happen, and the detailed planning, the interest and the commitment to this project is a seal of the mall's success. Just to give you a brief outline of uh, the marketing strategy and uh, the launch of the mall. All the strategic direction and everything that is planned uh, is based on uh, the findings and learnings of a very in-depth and detailed market survey, extended market survey, uh, as well as nine focus groups uh, that aimed at understanding how we can bring the consumer to the mall, how we can bring him to the shops of the mall, and how can we make him share his money with us. So, based on these learnings, it's become clear that the target market, the consumers that we need to attack, are not only the people that live in the captive area, but also on the uses of Thika Road, because of proximity and visibility as well. The characteristics of the mall, as they were presented uh, during those uh, surveys and focus groups, uh, appear to be very appealing to the wider population of Nairobi. So basically, we are going to try and attack all the, all the consumers uh, of the city.
Now these groups uh, will be targeted through an aggressive marketing strategy based on the elements that uh, seem to attract the consumer attention and will stimulate the desire to come, visit and leave some money behind. The mall's uh, positioning will be built on uh, the very strong characteristics, friendliness, the wide variety of shops, its unique environment, and this new retail format uh, that uh, incorporates the old and new Kenya brands. It's been um, a journey for us to get here. It's been a longer journey to invite you and to have you all here. So really, we are very excited. We may not be smiling because we've been in heels and running around the side, but we're very happy. I've been asked to keep it very short and sweet, and I'll try to do that. But before I do that, um, Mike, Mike, my client, has asked me to do a grand reveal. I thought I was going to sneak in a few people, but I've been given permission to reveal some of these people. So it is with much pleasure that I want, I want you to see the faces of the people who will be here working with you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I think we're going to say Jumbo. I look forward to meeting each and every one of you. I think I've been to actually some already this evening. But as we go forward, we've got a good task ahead of us, we've got a great challenge, and we're going to have lots of excitement and fun, and lots of money coming through the tolls, lots of happy customers. Thank you. I bet you're looking forward to the mall, and we'll certainly work extra hard to have it open by the 28th of May, and after that, I'll be one of your best friends. Thanks. Uh, we have worked very closely with Actis. We are very grateful for all the effort they have put in. I would also like to acknowledge uh, and say thank you to Aspire, headed by Mike. I'm sure all of you have met Mike. We also have another director from Aspire, that is Stuart. For some of you who probably own some of the apartments have met Stuart. I would also like to acknowledge Sino Hydro. Sino Hydro are the contractors of this project. And I think we have learned Chinese, we have learned English. When it works, it's Chinese. When it works, it's English. But uh, we are working very well with them. We are very happy. Thank you very much. And of course, all the other consultants. This has been a project with very many consultants. So wherever they are, we want to appreciate them. And um, I know you're all here because Night Frank has done a lot of work. Thank you very much, Night Frank, wherever you are. Um, of course, we will not forget the event organizers. They pulled this together. We are very happy. And um, last and not least, I will not forget my role team. Um, this is a journey. We have a solid team. Bron is committed to working with you. And we are very excited that this will be our first new project. So we look forward to it.
Mm-hmm. 